Well, hi everyone, it's Chad Holtam here, your head of school. I'm here today at the Pemberton Woods campus, shooting this video so that we can get ready to welcome our faculty and staff and our students and our families back to GNS. I first wanted to start by saying thank you for your patience. All summer long, we've had two task force groups continue to work with the Ministry of Education and follow Dr. Henry's guidelines through the Public Health Office. Things have changed from time to time, but I'm grateful that we've had these two task force groups that have dedicated their summers so that we can get it right. Our first task force group was the operations group led by Duncan Bryce. And our second group is our task force group for the student experience led by Mr. Cole Carlson, our deputy head academic. These groups have poured themselves into these plans so that we can be ready, prepared with safety being our number one priority. Throughout the course of this video, you're gonna be hearing from the principals and Mr. Carlson. They'll talk a little bit about what school is gonna look like. And when you read the plan, if you have questions or concerns, please reach out to us. We're here to help. So right now, I would like to introduce our new deputy head academic, Mr. Cole Carlson. Thanks, Chad. I'm thrilled to be joining the GNS community and looking forward to meeting you all in person and welcoming you back to campus very soon. I'd like to share some of the safety protocols and policies that we have in place for you when you return. Firstly, we've organized all of the students into learning groups, primarily by grade, with the idea of reducing the number of interactions between individuals. This is following ministry guidelines. Secondly, we will be requiring all students in middle and senior school to wear masks and all students, regardless of grade, to wear masks when they are riding school buses. We ask that students at Pemberton Woods arrive to school wearing masks each day. Students will be required to wear these masks anytime they are interacting with individuals outside of their own learning groups when physical distancing cannot be maintained. This is true for our faculty and staff as well. The details will all be in our return to school plans. We've increased the cleaning frequency here at the school and put hand sanitizing stations around campus. You may also notice when you arrive, lots of signage will be up and lots of floor markings will be put in place to help direct the movement around campus. We recognize the partnership we have with our families here at GNS and therefore we're asking everyone, students, staff and visitors, all to complete a daily health check prior to coming to campus. If you're not feeling well, or if you're showing any signs or symptoms of illness, we ask you to please stay home. For someone who shows symptoms when they are on campus, they will be isolated and cared for in an individual setting until parents can come to pick them up. Now I know you're excited to hear some of the details about the beach campus, so I'm gonna hand it off to Mrs. Jean Bigelow. Thank you. Thank you, Cole, and welcome to GNS. We are so glad you're here. The ministry has designated the learning groups to be at 60. Well, at GNS in the junior school, our maximum learning group is 44, and many of them are far fewer than that. The protocols and procedures that we had when students returned in June will be largely the same, so the students will be familiar. The best news is we are moving into our brand new building, the classrooms are bigger, the ventilation is excellent, and it is a spectacular environment for learning. Parents, you will be invited to see the classrooms and see the building in a staggered way on orientation day. So we look forward to welcoming you into this new facility. It'll be a great year of learning and fun. And now, I'd like to hand it over to Mr. Damon Henry, Principal of the Middle School. Thanks, Jean. First of all, the cohorts in the middle school are organized by grade but students will primarily be in classes with their home forms. Because the middle school and the senior school share the same campus, there'll be more people present, but each in their own areas. In the common spaces around campus and during transitions, it's important that physical distance is maintained as much as possible. And in those areas, such as stairwells, hallways, or washrooms, a mask is required. Here's Mr. Doug Palm to speak about the senior school. Thank you, Damon. A lot of what you said about the middle school also applies to our senior school. Our senior school cohort size is a maximum of 120. 
Our cohorts will run consistently throughout the year and all our academic classes are year long as they always have been. We ask that all students at all times please keep their personal belongings to themselves and not to share. These could include food, equipment and school supplies of any kind. I look forward to seeing you all really soon. Back to you, Chad. Well, thanks everyone. Our restart plan is now on our website. Please take a read through it, and if you have any questions or comments, please reach out. We will, of course, continue to monitor the Ministry of Education guidelines and the Public Health Office. And in the words of Dr. Henry, Be calm. Be kind. And be safe. We're all in this together. Thank you, everyone. We are looking forward to seeing you all at GNS soon.